boxing bow here. Um, I'm gonna pull out uh, one of my Motleys. This is uh, Athena. Um, I got her from uh, Jeremy Stone. I've showed her before. Um, as you can see here, which I love to do is show them in shed, but you can see her belly here. She's really just now really starting to go into shed. Her eyes haven't went opaque or anything like that, but some of the things you can tell with your saint going into shed. Um, even though you can see she still has some great pinks and she looks still pretty bright. And even up in here, it's just slightly pink and milky, but as you get down farther, you can really start to see the milkiness. And, and so there's a good sign that your snake is going in the shed, you know. So you don't just have to, I mean, yeah, you can tell a little bit when they start to go dull, but I've also found that some of my snakes, right before they go in the shed, almost look like they're glowing. And you're like, man, you look beautiful. I'll take some pictures, and then two days later, I'll notice this. And I'm like, wow. So, you know, just something to think about, you know, when you're sitting there, oh, well, my snake, some people say, you can tell your snake is in shed or going to shed when it looks dull, which is true, but that isn't until it actually shows real good signs. But some hints of it is like I showed you here. Um, she is not a fire boa, so she is not hit for leucistic. But she is from a fire breeding. And in doing so, and even though she is getting ready to go in a shed, um, she is almost like a very pastel like Motley Boa. I, I would consider her a pastel. Um, a little hard to tell now, I'm sure, with her being so close to shed. But I mean, she's just got a ton of pinks. I mean, lavenders, oranges, and a, a, a lot of purple going through her. She is not a super dark motley like some motley bows are and I really attribute that to the fire gene. So even though she is not hit for fire, I think that the fire gene um, is a type of pastel as well. So even though your boa may not be hit for fire, the offspring from that, like her, will be a very nice pastel looking. So. I picked her up from Jeremy Stone for those reasons that she's got the the classic perfect motley pattern. Um something to consider guys I, and I've talked about this with hypos too. Um motley boas, she is considered even though she, she is considered a pure boa, she's not. She's actually She's she's I, she's sold to me as a bow constrictor and prada, all right. And this is when we're come back to genetics and no one more snakes originated from or, and and where they were collected and things like that. Um, but motley bows originated from Central America. They've been cross bred into imperatas, and so she is considered a bow constrictor and prada molly. But the simple fact is. This pattern, this motley pattern, is from Central America. Um, so no matter, like I've said before with hypos, no matter how much you outcross breeding, the genetics are there for the motley, and that comes from Central America. Um, another thing to consider with her is, even though she was sold to me as a pure boa constrictor in Prada, or boa constrictor in Prada, it's now called, like, I'm trying to, hammer that home because that is the new scientific name, just bow constrictor imprata. Um, um, actually, it's not. It's actually just bow imprata. I'm sorry. See, even I'm still going back to BCI, bow constrictor imprata, when it's actually just boa imprata or constrictor imprata. I'll have to read double check, but I'm pretty sure it's just boa imprata now. Um, but she's also comes from that fire breeding. Now, what's up with that fire breeding? Let's be honest here. That snake the original came from brazil it is actually a pure bc bow constrictor now it used to be called bow constrictor constrictor but it is now just called bow constrictor so therefore she is actually in my you know if you actually look at genetics and things like that she's actually a boa imperata a costa rica boa constrictor and a bcc and, and so therefore I think that fire gene being that it's a BCC and that's where we get all these really great pinks 
and and deep rich purples and why this and even though this is not considered uh, like a Ferrari pastel motley or um, uh, Richard's uh, pastel motleys and or the infernos or the pink panther mo uh, or the pink panther pastels you actually look at her and even going in the shed you can see where she would be considered a pastel boa now I really think that's because of the uh, the the pure boa constrictor influence um, so take that into consideration you know it's not that anybody's trying to do your own or sell your own but that's how you know you get these pastels how you get these morphs and things like that you know so it's very important that you understand that so you're not just saying well this is what it is because this is what I heard so do your research I'm gonna get another one out um, I'm going to get Poseidon out. Now, this is a very cool guy. As soon as I get her put away, she doesn't want to go away. Alright. Now, Poseidon is a gorgeous boy. Now, here's a cool thing about him. He's not in shed or anything like that, as you can see. He is a Motley Jungle 100% hit for VPI. Um, so... You can just see the jungle influence in his pattern. You can see the motley. You can see the 100% hit for VPI in him. Um, he's got a great stripe. Now, the cool thing about him is, and, and, and you'll find this a lot with snakes, and you don't hear a lot of people talk about it, is they can really change color. And I don't mean like it can go from being pink to green. I mean in like one day, this whole head right here that you see will be silver just light like there's no you won't even see a pattern on his head and then right now very very dark he's just that's just it's really cool how they can how boas can do that i i've noticed that more in in hypos and in motleys than any other morph um but they can really darken and lighten their color up and and i find that fascinating now once again, the motley comes from Costa Rica. The jungle is um, originally bred in uh, Sweden from a boa constrictor in Parada or boa in Parada. Um, so once again, you know, he'll have a diverse bloodline. If you actually did like DNA and mitochondria DNA, you'll find different subspecies in him. But he is sold to me as a, as a boa constrictor in Parada or boa in Parada. But this is a fascinating bow to work with. I, I really enjoy. I, I say my favorite morph in boas is jungles. I just I love jungles. I've ever since I saw my first jungle back in the day when they were going for fifteen thousand, fifteen grand. Um, I wanted one, and now I I, I have uh, three. Um, and this is just he. I got him because I my dream snake to make with him will eventually be uh, a Sunglo Motley Jungle VPI Albino and so long time long process but well worth it so you know when you're sitting there and you're getting into these things don't worry about what other people are doing don't worry about all oh, this person bred this and they're getting this and they're getting that do it for yourself you know, make that dream snake that you want, not what other people want. You know, do it for you. And remember, quality beats quantity. And, and I can't stress that enough. And, and, and Balls you, the governor, he, he states that a lot. And I can't help but agree with him. I am not a big Paul, ball python fan. I don't own any. But seeing his snakes, his ball pythons, makes me want one of his ball pythons. Um, so I'm gonna have to look into seeing if he can eventually, if if he can even ship to the United States, because he's the first person that actually makes me want a ball python, and he's the only person. And, and no offense to all my friends out there that I follow, but he's the first person that I really want a ball python from. I've thought about it, and and my kids were gonna get me one for Christmas, and it's just like I was just like no, but I mean, seeing his snakes really makes me want one. There's just something special about his ball pythons. So no matter what you're doing, take your time, 
Don't get in a hurry. Don't worry about what other people are doing. And focus on you, not others. Um, anyway, this is Boxing Boa. Hopefully you all have a good day. Please like, click, share, and subscribe. Leave any comments or questions you have. And I, I will truly try to answer them. Anyway, peace.